here with the Javelinas following a 28 to 21 win over West Texas with quarterback Wade Freeman III, Jalen Smith to coach head coach Mike Salinas' left. Coach, big win for the Javelinas tonight. What can you say first about your thoughts on the team's performance overall? I'm just proud of our players and our staff. I thought we did a great job responding. We had a tough week last week. Uh, didn't feel good about our performance and how that one finished, but uh, we put it behind us Sunday and we went back to work and put our focus on West Texas. Uh, Again, we knew in, in this conference, you got to show up and play every week. Uh, we knew it was going to take four quarters and, and uh, just proud of our guys for finding a way to, to redeem themselves, so to say. We talked about redemption uh, earlier today and our guys responded. They made plays. Uh, they played a little bit harder tonight. And, and because of that, we were able to come out uh, with a victory. But hats off to Coach Lynn and his staff. He's in year one there. And I think he's done a great job getting those guys to play hard. And, and uh, but again, um, to our players and our coaches, I'm just really proud of their effort, and I thought our execution tonight went up a little bit. All right, Wade, for you, obviously a big night offensively for the team. In your first start with the Havelinas this season, you know what was going through your mind as you took the field tonight, and then just throughout the game, things just to be seemed to be clicking for you, especially with Jalen on some big passes tonight. So just talk us through what was going on out there. Um, yes, sir. Uh, before I took the field, I mean, my mind was just really. Uh, on a team. I knew my team was going to play for me at, if I played for them. So I just went out there and played for them and everything worked out. I mean, I connected with Jalen a, a couple of times because we we did that in practice. So whatever, we, what we did in practice, it just transferred over to the game, so. Yeah, Jalen, for you, obviously, big game offensively, led the team in receptions with a big touchdown there as well. You know, for you, you know, obviously having to adjust to Wade coming in and getting the start tonight, you guys seem to have found a connection early. You know, what's kind of the secret sauce right now for you and Wade in this first game together? Um, I really don't think there's any secret sauce. I think that all three of the quarterbacks that we have can all play at the same level. And I just think that um, tonight, I was, we were just able to, when my number was called, we was able to, I was able to make plays. But I feel like if anybody else's number would have been called, it would have been the same thing. Yeah, coach, for you, obviously, uh, biggest offensive output yards-wise for the team, 402 yards offensively for you guys. You know, what were you seeing, you know, from the sideline to where the offense just seemed to, you know, click, when, especially on those big plays where you needed to get those yards? We knew we were going to get some looks where we were going to have to take some shots down the field, and, and we had some stuff that was going to convert uh, to vertical down the field passes, and, and uh, um, Wade did a great job tonight taking advantage of those, seeing those, and then again, uh, guys like Jaden made plays when the ball was in the air vertically tonight. So I think offensively, we just did a better job of executing. I feel like we've been close. Uh, this week we said we're tired of being close. It's time to sort of get going and, and, and let it happen. But uh, Wade has won games for us here before. He has started for us before. So uh, he's done a great job the last six, seven weeks sort of sitting back and being supportive of his teammates. And, and his number wasn't called yet. Um, told him how proud I was of him for that earlier this week. Uh, he had an opportunity this week to step in and, and respond, and, and he did that. I think he was able to do that because of his actions uh, <coughs> leading up to today. So he's been very unselfish. Tonight he just went out and, and uh, took advantage of the opportunities he had. And um, again, what the defense was giving us. So we were going to put the ball in the air a little bit, and we did. Uh, luckily, our defense continued to get stops and give us the ball. So uh, just fortunate we took, took advantage of that today on offense. All right, you guys now get ready for a tough Angelo State team coming here for homecoming next week. How do you uh, switch gears now and get prepared for that next game? Well, just as fast as we forgot about the one last week, we got to do the same thing. We got a 24-hour rule. Uh, we're going to enjoy this one, but if we want to continue to to move forward, we got to put this behind us and and get ready to go get prepared for the next one. Right, uh, we're at home again. Um, still love playing at home. Our guys love to be home. It's a special place to play. So thank everybody for coming out tonight, everybody that came out and supported us. But uh, we're playing a really good Angelo football team. They were open this week, uh, so they had a little extra time to prepare for us. So as a staff, we got to go to work tomorrow. Our players got to come in and uh, put the work in and then get this one behind us. And 100% of our focus uh, will be on Angelo because it's the next game. All right. Thank you, guys.